The fate of around 440 children from a West Texas polygamous sect now lies in the hands of the Texas Supreme Court. Now that's because an appeals court made a ruling that the removal of these children from the Yearning for Zion Ranch was improper, and now state child welfare authorities are fighting that decision. If the high court affirms the recent ruling, that means the children will likely go home to their parents. The Texas Child Protective Services is warning that members of the sect could flee the Lone Star State if that happens. A rejection means the state will keep the children. The kids are now scattered about in foster homes across Texas. In April, authorities took the kids into custody from the Yearning for Zion Ranch in El Dorado, Texas. The land belongs to a renegade Mormon polygamous group called the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It broke away from the Mormon Church more than a century ago, which had renounced polygamy. The state raided the YFC ranch based on a phone call purportedly from a 16-year-old girl living on the compound. She had claimed her middle-aged husband beat and abused her. The girl has never been found, and investigators are looking into the call as a possible hoax. But the Child Protective Services says despite the now dubious tip, it found evidence grown men were marrying and impregnating underage girls. Authorities say they expect the first results from DNA testing to arrive soon. The state wants to map out the complicated family relationships between parents and children on the ranch. Investigators claim the FLDS didn't provide adequate information about families. Members of the sect claim they're being persecuted for their religious beliefs, including that polygamy brings glorification in heaven. The high court has also asked the state to provide more proof on why this decision should be overturned. It's also asking lawyers for some of the moms who belong to this sect to provide more proof why the kids should be returned to their families. John Moan, the Associated Press, San Angelo, Texas.